Dave, just, can you just walk us through that the touchdown on on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Kind of talked about it on on Pat McAfee yesterday, but just yeah. just walk us through kind of how that play went down. Yeah, so um, pretty simple. When we sent Diggs in motion, I guess they thought he was probably going to catch a catch a uh, a swing route. So the corner jumped, and the safety rotated and came down. I think he thought I was probably going to go block him. Uh, we were cross blocking or something, and um, once I was running out of full speed, he tried to recover, and with the angle that he took, I knew uh, where to go, and I knew Josh would see me. So it's pretty, pretty simple. A lot has been said about Miami's offense, but their defense has been performing well, particularly in coverage. What have you seen from that unit on tape? Um, just a great, just a great uh, defense. You know, we we play them twice a year. It's always fun. So can't can't wait to go out there and. See him on Sunday. Everyone will always tell us it's every other game. It's week four. I know that's part of your process. It's a division rival who just put up 70 points, who is a game up. How much truly is it maybe not just a normal game? It's a normal game. That's what. That's what. That's what. Um, that's one of our emphasis this week. Is to treat it that way, and I feel like you got to. Speak it, speak it into existence, and believe it, and that's what we're doing this week. Is there anything positive though of embracing the moment and, and the extra juice that'll probably, spe specifically from the fan base and the stands, bring to you guys once you hit the field? Yeah, um, this year, first home game, they really brought the juice. It was fun, exciting. It was probably the loudest I ever heard the stadium, um, and I know they're going to come with it again this week. So happy to be back home and playing in front of our fans. Working with. Coach Henry this year, what, what have you learned from him and what kind of new uh, techniques have you brought to your game? Um, for me, it's getting into my routes and, and finishing them and not rushing at the top. Uh, he says, sometimes I'm too smart for my own good. He says, once I see the coverage, I already know I can figure out where the where the open space is, but I don't, I don't finish my routes consistently. So I know that's what I've been working with him with. Um, and he's been helping me out a lot with that about their offense, but you guys have put up 30 plus points the last two weeks. Just what kind of momentum do you feel like the offense has been able to build these last two weeks? Um, just to play our game. I mean, that's all the, we got to come with energy, effort, and execution. You know, that's what we have to do. And as long as we do those three things, we can be the offense we know we can be. And how do you go about that knowing about the offense on the other side, that they can score quickly, and that you guys may or may not be involved in a track meet that you having to maybe match the points that they put on. The goal each week, for, no matter what team we go against, is to score on every single drive and be the best offense we can be. Um, so when we're out there, that's what we try to do. I don't, we don't focus on the other sideline and what they have going on. We could just focus on what we're doing each and every day.